So this is something that I believe is very important to talk about and that's why I'm making this video right now and very surprisingly what we are talking about today is nothing to do with the Roblox going down for three days. So finally we are off of those tracks, everything is back to normal with Roblox in that regard but there is now something very serious like I said we need to take a look at. And so before I show you everything about this I would like to say please leave a like on this video and subscribe. And you know I'm talking about Discord today so just as a quick reminder reminder, I do have a server, so please join discord.gg slash Chloe Games. Okay, so the first thing that I saw about this was yesterday, and it was from the RTC, and they said that this is news. Apparently, it's specifically for developers, but I would imagine that, you know, anybody could be affected by this if it ended up in the wrong hands. So it starts off with, watch out. A spear phishing attack is going around Discord, compromising many accounts. The generic message will say to test a Roblox game and have a zip file attached. Do not unzip the file. At this time, always check your files in a sandbox. Stay safe. So obviously this does lack a lot of information and that's why I decided to do a lot more digging about this and felt like I needed to make a video about this, just talk about this, tell everybody what to look out for and exactly what this means. So firstly, in the replies to this tweet, I noticed that there is a Roblox developer by the name of Railworks to Roblox and he seems to be one of the few people who have already been affected by this which according to some people this is very surprising for Railworks 2 because apparently they are usually very very good at security things like this so for someone like that to fall for something like this I think that alone proves how serious this is and kind of what scale it's currently on but the first reply I noticed he said was it's not a Roblox game which in the original RTC tweet they did mention that it was a file to test a Roblox Roblox game but apparently for some people we have gotten reports in our DMs that it's a map of a Roblox game. There is multiple going around so as far as this goes we know that there is some zip files being sent around telling people to test Roblox games but according to Railworks 2 there is also some that are regarding not Roblox games. I, d I don't know specifically what those ones are so I can't really tell you what to look out for but basically I would say long story short just just don't download anything from anyone on discord at the moment and especially like the original tweet says do not unzip any files that you receive from anyone it doesn't matter how much you trust people whilst something big like this is currently going around whilst this is a very popular method of hacking people I would just play it safe and not download anything for the time being. Just quickly going back to that, I said I couldn't find out what the not Roblox game situation was, but apparently it was a Steam game. So that's, that's also very, very serious. So people are being told to test Roblox games or apparently also Steam games. So once again, just don't download anything, do not unzip anything. And people, like I said, were asking Railworks 2 how they possibly could have fallen for something like this because usually they do tend to be very smart with something like this. And he said that it was sent to them by a top developer who I wouldn't be surprised wanted to go off platform, aka onto Steam. And so that kind of begs the question, how and why did this supposed top developer send it to this person? So scrolling down the replies a little bit further, there is another developer known as Always Trust Bob or Never Trust Bob. I don't, there is two different names there. This person basically, and they said, I believe he got it from my account and I didn't get any message for Steam game or Roblox games. Otherwise, I feel like this was targeted at Roblox developers though, so stay vigilant. And it especially is a very, very scary because because apparently this person who supposedly had their account send it to Railworks 2 had their privacy settings at maximum and had two-factor authentication, everything like that, and still their account seemingly managed to get hacked and so far to a point where that account was sending these files to people who then, you know, obviously from that also ended up falling for this. So it's just kind of a very vicious cycle. But according to Railworks 2, the original person who fell for this mentioned something about how they are currently waiting on the Discord trust and safety team. So from that alone, it seems like this entire thing has been reported to Discord and specifically the correct team and the appropriate team at Discord who 
you can hopefully deal with this as quickly as possible because like I said for big developers like this to also have their account hacked even though they are at the maximum privacy settings it's it's kind of a scary situation and especially when some big news accounts like the RTC have to report on it on Twitter just to make sure that people don't go downloading these files or unzipping these files I mean as I guess common sense as it is to not download files from people on Discord or basically from anywhere. If someone who is known in the community for being very good with security things like this can end up falling for it and as a result get hacked by it, I you know anything is possible. So please just stay alert, stay aware and of course stay safe and spread this to as many people as you possibly can because like I said, it's scary. It's kind of a serious situation. So one more time, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will always appreciate the love and support that you guys give me. And you know what? It helps me out a lot. But I'm making think of Roblox hackers making their way onto Discord and seemingly targeting Roblox developers. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.